Hey guys, welcome back to Yoda Expedition. Today we're gonna to be breaking down five things you need to know about the Diode Dynamics D-Switch, a next-gen switch controller built to simplify your wiring and elevate your setup. Whether you're powering light bars, pod lights, or compressors, this thing is loaded with features that make it easier and smarter to wire your rig. So let's dive in. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is that there are no fuses. The D-Switch is 100% solid state. That means there are no mechanical relays and no physical fuses to deal with. If there's a short or an overload, the system automatically shuts that channel off and you can just reset it in the app. So no more blown fuses and no digging under the hood. It's more reliable, safer, and reacts faster than traditional relay boxes. Plus it cleans up your engine bay by eliminating a lot of unnecessary wiring. With the D-Switch, you're gonna get eight channels, four 15 amp and four 30 amp locations, which will cover you for pretty much anything. The second thing is a dedicated backlight channel. This is actually a ninth channel and a unique feature that other switch panels on the market don't have. Instead of using up one of your other channels for backlighting, you can take all of the backlighting wiring from your light bars or light pods and run it into the backlighting channel and operate them all with just one button. A nice feature that just makes things simpler when it comes to wiring. The third thing we're gonna be talking about is the Bluetooth app and the in-cabin control. When it comes to operating the diode D-switch, you have two options, the switch controller or the Bluetooth app. You get full control right from your phone when using the Diode Dynamics app. From there, you can name channels, assign colors, change the backlight brightness, or even create lighting scenes or presets like strobing modes and more. The Diode app is super powerful and operates very fast. There is no lagging and it works from over 100 feet away. We already tested this and it works great. If you only plan on using the app, then you don't need to run the controller into your interior, but you do still need to plug it in and tuck it here away under your hood. But if you prefer physical buttons, run the switch panel into your interior and install it somewhere on your dash or your center console. So you get the best of both worlds, smart control with the app and hardwired reliability with the physical controller. The fourth thing we're gonna talk about is the OEM signal integration. The D-switch comes with an auxiliary harness, and with this, you can do things like turn the system on only with your ignition. You can tap into your headlights to activate the night mode, which dims the backlighting on the controller, and you also have three trigger wires, which is huge. Let's say you want your ditch lights to come on with your high beams or your rock lights to trigger when you shift into reverse. The D-switch can listen to those factory signals and turn on whatever channel you want when that signal is activated. Just run the signal wire to the factory wire that gives power and use a supplied wire tap to complete the connection. And the last thing we're gonna be talking about is the dynamic channel assignment. The D-switch gives full control over your rig with eight customizable output channels. Unlike most switch panels that lock each button to a single output, like button one is always gonna be channel one. The D-switch lets you group and configure multiple outputs to a single button. That means you can turn on several accessories at once with just one press. You can also add different functions to the same output, like setting one button to run a light at full brightness and another to trigger a strobe pattern on the same light. Whether you're running diode dynamics gear or any other 12 volt accessories, the D-switch lets you dial in each button to work exactly how you want. All right, now let's hit a few common questions we've seen about the D-switch. So the first question, what vehicles will this fit? The answer is any. The Diode Dynamics D-Switch and almost all switch panels on the market are universal and they'll work on any car, truck, or UTV. How much power can it handle? Like I mentioned earlier, the D-Switch has four 15 amp channels and four 30 amp channels. So when you're hooking up your accessories, look at the specs from the manufacturer of your accessory to determine which channel to put it on. Is the D-Switch waterproof? Yes, the main unit and controller are IP67 rated, so it's fully sealed and waterproof. Does it fit in OE panels interior pieces? Unfortunately, it does not. The controller is just a tiny bit bigger than Oxbeam, for example, and it will not fit in the same holder. What wire am I supposed to tap into for the blue sensor wire? We recommend connecting this wire to a parking light or a side marker light. Where do I hook up the ignition wire on the auxiliary harness? You wanna hook this up to any wire that has power only when the ignition is on. You can also use a fuse tap in your fuse box. One is not included in the kit, but we have them on our site. If you wanna pick one up, the link is down below. Will the D-switch work with other brands besides Diode? 
Absolutely, you can hook up any lighting brand or other accessories to the D-Switch. This forerunner right here has all Baja Designs lighting hooked up to it. What if I have something that pulls more than 30 amps? If you run into this issue, you can use two of the 30 amp channels to split up the power output. Can it be used without the controller? Like I mentioned earlier, yes, you can use the D-Switch with only the Bluetooth app, but the controller still needs to be plugged in and tucked away here under the hood. Does the app work with Apple CarPlay? Unfortunately, no, the app does not work with CarPlay. I would suggest getting yourself a nice phone mount like the ones from Offroam that we offer. All right, guys, hopefully that answered any questions that you had about the Diode Dynamics D-Switch. If we missed anything, please ask below down in the comments. But with that being said, if you're looking to clean up your wiring, eliminate relays and fuses, and add smart control, the Diode Dynamics D-Switch is a solid upgrade. If you want to see a full install of this on our Toyota 4Runner, the link is down in the description. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and drop a comment down below. We'll see you guys in the next one.